Hi there, Joka here with a new video for Spa Binders. Um, this is a new collection by Vicky Papayuano. Um, it's called Paint Your World. And this is the collection I'm going to be working with today. Um, this is the, well, you saw the stamp set uh, just before, and uh, there are several die sets in this collection. And they all have paint brushes. They are all different, different sizes, different designs, and they all have some bits and pieces of other things uh, with them. This one has butterflies. Then the next one here is um, a really large um, set, a, a really big paintbrush. This is an A2 size card. And this one is a standard slimline card, so you can see how big that paintbrush is. It's actually perfect for the slimline, but I am going to create a five by seven inch cards today. And this paintbrush comes with um, some flowers and foliage and um, things like that. And um, well, you will see me use that. Now this one is a smaller um, size set, another paintbrush, and then you have paint drops and um, well uh, like a paint, a blob of paint or <laughs> I don't know how to describe that. That part I actually uh, haven't used but I will use the paintbrush. Um, another small set this one uh, has a different design paintbrush and it has a teeny tiny tulip um, which I had all intention to use because tulip is my most favorite flower but the one thing I wanted to do with it would have taken me a very long time um, so maybe next time. <laughs> So uh, then there is this larger set, um, this painter's uh, palette and a paintbrush and some paint and um, yeah, you can see here what you have. Um, I don't know why I put that small piece there. That's actually the <laughs> lid for the, the tube of paint. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, this palette is actually quite large, so I was um, going to create a shaped card, but then I realized that um, it's not symmetrical, um, which is only important for me because I wanted, you know, the way you die cut the bottom to the uh, where the cut lines are on the die. Oh, how should I explain this? Okay, so I put my dies on top of my paper and that's how I die cut. So with the blades down. And that side of the die cut is always, it looks, well, not quite pretty. And in this case, uh, that would actually be the, the outside of the card. And you know, then the edges also go in a different direction than uh, I would expect them for my for the back of my card. I don't know if that makes any sense, but this is why I didn't do uh, a shaped card. So I am just um, going to create a large five by seven inch card. And I started out by um, embossing uh, the sentiment just so I know knew where to. Uh, place everything else and because I didn't quite manage to do it right the first time I double embossed this I mean this might not be <laughs> a good idea all the time I mean it can go wrong but it didn't this time so um, it turned out okay now I die cut all these uh, paints from uh, different pattern papers just uh, I have a like a, a sleeve with a bunch of um, scraps that are not, but well, I'm sure they do belong to some scrapbook collection, but I kind of, I didn't buy the whole collection. I just bought some papers. So um, otherwise I um, keep all my scrapbook collections in different um, sleeves together, the whole collection. 
Um, but these are just uh, single papers and scraps. So um, sometimes when I don't want to go through a scrapbook collection, I just uh, go through this one because it's easier. And I have all the colors already in it. So um, I kind of went with a rainbow palette. And I had to place something in the middle, something heavier, because it um, maybe you called that. I had to, well, I didn't have to, but I did layer two of these palettes together just uh, because I wanted to use foam tape later and I wanted to make it sturdy. Um, and because of the liquid glue on such a big surface, it kind of um, bent in the middle. So uh, that will, that you know, the, the foam tape will um, fix that. But for now, I needed to put something heavy on it just so that my die cuts stay in place. And now I'm adding the foam tape. This is a very simple card. Um, well, actually, I guess all are, but maybe this is the simplest so to say from the three it's uh quick and yeah <laughs> easy to to make right so i'm um creating the card base now you can see how large that is i cut that from a, an eight and a half by 11 inch cardstock and um, i'm adding pattern paper to the card front in the same size just to have some fun in the background. It's um, a navy um, striped paper. I know it kind of looks black here, but it's navy. You will probably see that in the photos at the, at the end of the um, video. I added some twine here. Don't ask me why. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> when I see a hole, I need to add something to it. <laughs> I, I really don't know, but I felt like it looked good. So, um, and then I have uh, three paint brushes, and I'm trying to figure out how to place them. Um, there is quite a bit of empty space at the right bottom, but I I did not want to add anything there. I I tried a tub of paint what it would look uh, like if I added it there, but I didn't like it. So I'm trying to place my paintbrushes a bit towards that um, section. You know, it, they kind of hang over that section just so that it gives you the idea that it's not so empty. But yeah, it's not perfect. I should have thought about this beforehand, but I didn't. Um, I think it's because... I wanted actually to put the palette a little bit differently, and um, but I ended up um, embossing the sentiment a bit differently to what I wanted. And of course, I wanted to line it up um, on the card front. So I think that's the reason. But I, I guess I'm okay with it. Um, so this is this is it for the first card. It, like I said, it's quick. Um, now for the second card. I am um, going to use three different paint brushes. I'm using a wood grain paper, um, a pattern paper for all of them the same. And for the metal part, I'm using um, a metallic gold. I think it's called satin gold from Nuvo, uh, the paper. And um, I die cut for, um, I think in one case, maybe five of these um, bristle die cuts. And I just layer them just so that you have a fuller paintbrush. Um, this one here has several parts that are not connected. Um, but this way you can add uh, colors, so it's uh, really fun. But I think I wanted to connect it, so I just um, added all the all the parts onto um, a piece of cardstock, and then I'm uh, going to fussy cut that out. And just so that they are the same um, dimension, I did this with the other uh, paint brushes as well, just so that 
you know, they are the same, well, they have the same number of um, layer, layers. So I think that's three actually. Um, in this case, I didn't use the end of the paintbrush because I knew that I was going to um, trim it uh, down anyway. Um, you will see that in a, a second why. But this particular uh, paintbrush I wanted to keep as it is because I really liked um, that colorful end to it and also that paper is it used to be one of my favorite papers and this is the last teeny tiny bit that I had so it, it was like a, a light pink lace um, design paper so I really didn't want to waste that and now the third um, paintbrush is uh, from another set and um, for this one, I'm using yellow um, textured cardstock for the Bristols. Um, the, um, I don't know, if, I think that was the first one I'm, I made. That is the only one that doesn't have textured cardstock that has um, patterned paper for the Bristols. And that was a, like a lime green kind of um, watercolor look paper which I've been hoarding and also from that one I think I used up everything on this card okay so the last paintbrush is done and then I'm going to show you why I didn't care about the end of the paintbrush because I'm going to place them like so so that they um, go over the edge so I will have to um, trim them down and now um, just because I don't like um, to work with paint um, I think mostly because I don't have space to to keep or take out everything and um, put them on my desk I just don't have space for it so just you know to kind of have the feeling that I have paint strokes um, I cut some um, strips of cardstock in the well similar color than um, as my um, lime green one here and then the pink and the um, the um, yellow are the same cardstock that I use for the bristles um, so it just I mean it doesn't look like you painted that uh, strip with the paintbrush but that's what it uh, represents or that that was my idea anyway and actually I normally I would have paid attention to the uh, texture of the cardstock these these ones uh, the yellow and the, the pink actually have vertical or lines in them and I could have placed them vertically but I think one of them was not big a big enough piece um so it's the, the lines I think go horizontally but normally uh, if I have a bigger piece I would have um paid attention to that because I don't know that kind of looks you know details <laughs> um okay so once that's done um I'm adding butterflies and in kind of an ombre ombre kind of look so I have lighter at the bottom um, and then darker at the top so I started with similar colors to the paintbrush but I try to use different pattern papers for this just to um, add some interest basically and there's I, I think I used the three smallest uh, butterflies um, from one of the sets and I only used the the outline dies I did not use the detail dies because I mean I could have and I like butterflies with details but I think I was just honestly I was just lazy <laughs> and um, yeah I'm kind of struggling with time um, these past months and so I'm trying to make things quicker but I mean if you know me you know that I spend quite some time on my cards and I don't think I would change that for the world that's just not 
my style, you know? So, but, but there are things that um, I don't do that I would normally do, like the details on the butterflies. Um, if, I mean, if it had been one dye, um, you know, maybe, but I would have had to line up the outline dye with the inside pieces and um, die cut them several times and uh, the washi tape. All the time I have to change it because the, you know, um, the dye actually cuts through the washi tape, the top of the dye. So every time I have to change it. So yeah, it takes time. So <laughs> next up, the sentiment. I was thinking about adding um, uh, this blue sentiment that says uh, paint your dreams um, and I used um, a blue pattern paper for this and I embossed it with white embossing powder but then I kind of realized that I didn't like that um, on this card so I'm now trying to figure out something else and I saved that sentiment for another card and so I'm die cutting this uh tag um die this is from one of the new collections today um i mean it's released today and i have another video with some of these sentiments um sorry not the sentiments but the tags the tag dies and um it was perfect for uh this sentiment that says you color me happy so I now die cut that out and I'm also die cutting that from a heavyweight uh, white card stock just to make it sturdier and I will um, adhere those together and now that I was actually <laughs> looking at it what I was trying to do if, if I should hang the sentiment on that um, twine there maybe that would have been actually nice but in the end I decided to um, just add it there at the in the middle of the paintbrush I did not want to cover that pink lace paper that I mentioned earlier and then I just got rid of the twine that I put on the paintbrush before because I I don't know I didn't like having two of those um, that was a quick move, but this is already the third card. <laughs> I don't know how I edited that out. Um, but anyway, that card was ready. So the third card is also going to be simple. For this one, I'm using the huge uh, paintbrush. And I found this um, beautiful blue paper in my stash that I've been hoarding because um, this kind of blue is not so um, easy to find. But I mean, sometimes I have to really kick myself to use things because what's the point if I don't, right? So uh, that was this was one of the occasions. And now I'm adding, uh, because this is a larger brush, I needed six of these uh, die cuts. Of course, you could add more uh, for more layers and then it, it would be probably even nicer. But... Um, I thought six would be enough and especially that I will cover most of that up um, it wouldn't wouldn't have made sense so um, you can see that I'm adding this little detail at the bottom in yellow um, I don't know I, I thought maybe I should add the same color as the bristles so um, I'm adding this metal place place with um, foam tape but only at the bottom part because I wanted to tuck um, foliage uh, leaves and stems behind it so I wanted to leave some space and I die cut a bunch of flowers as well and I'm layering them up and then I'm now trying to figure out how to add all this um, greenery here. I die cut the, the foliage from I think from three different uh, papers one of the uh, lime card stocks that I used earlier and then the lime uh, watercolor paper and then a green, a darker green 
uh, paper but that I also used on the butterfly card already and now I'm um, gluing these down and all this then or the ends of these will be covered by that metal um, piece and once this is done I'm also going to add flowers because you know <laughs> I add flowers to everything <laughs> Um, okay, so the paintbrush is kind of done, and then uh, this is how I imagined it, uh, just a, you know, a bit at an angle, and I'm shaping the flowers just with my um, hands, just bending them a little bit, uh, the the petals. I'm sure you could do this with proper tools; maybe they would look nicer as well. But pattern paper typically is very easy to work with, um, easy to shape, and they won't crease. Um, which is a problem I had in one of the other videos um, with cardstock, heavyweight cardstock. It's not as pretty as pattern paper, but, um, you know, sometimes I like to work with cardstock. Anyway, um, I'm adding some foam tape to the whole um, bottom part of the, the brush, and then I'm going to adhere that on the um, background and I will add the flowers and then almost done actually um, this is uh, probably the longest video today I, I think I have four videos today and some of them are quite long I don't know I, I couldn't I don't know why I couldn't really edit them shorter so I apologize if that's not your thing um, I probably should have said that at the beginning of the video <laughs> sorry about that um, yeah so I'm trying to figure out how to place those flowers and once I settle um, on it which is not gonna be this version um, I'm going to adhere them all down I would totally avoid adhering anything on the metal um, paper uh, that's just me um, because I probably mentioned in several videos already I just don't I don't find a glue that um, will you know keep things in place uh, on metal I mean it looks like it will but I can easily peel it away um, peel it off once it's dry which I would not be able to do uh, from paper so I just avoid those areas um, now I am adding some enamel dots to the, um, flower centers and, um, yeah, and then I'm going to find an, um, a sentiment, actually not find it, but I already made it in this video, so do not waste it. I'm going to use that sentiment that I showed you earlier. And um, I am going to glue this glue this on um, a piece of heavyweight cardstock again to make it sturdier because I want to use foam tape with it. And then I'm I'm trying some options here where to place it. I I realize that um, the most space is at the bottom right, but I don't like my sentiments to kind of float around in the air you know I, I I like them to be connected to my design so I decided to go with uh, this version so here you have it uh, the three cards up close I hope I could inspire you I uh, hope you love this collection as much as I do um, I really hope I can come back to this collection in the future when I have more time because there's so many so many great things to do uh, with these goodies thank you very much for watching i hope you check out the other videos as well have a great day bye bye